What's up guys, it's Dr. Games here. In this channel, I talk about games in all fields of life. In today's video, I'm going to talk about games when it comes to your physical games. 20 raw eggs every day, but that's just me. Pardon me. Working out is my life. Specifically, when it comes to calisthenics or bodyweight training. So today, I'm going to attempt an insane bodyweight challenge. It's going to be 300 dips as fast as I can. Jesus Christ. Now I have no idea how fast I could do this, but the goal I'm going to make is under five minutes. What? Realistically, I think I'll get it under six and a half minutes, but first, let me explain the rules to this challenge. Rule number one, every single rep has to be a full range of motion. That means a lockout at the top and at least 90 degrees at the bottom. Rule number two, no momentum and no kipping on any of the reps. <laughs> And rule number three, every single rep must start at the top and end at the top. Truth be told, whether you're competing or you're doing a challenge or you're just working out for yourself, these three rules should always be implemented. I just want to emphasize it because so many people start to lose form and lose the integrity of their reps when it comes to these endurance routines. And over here, we keep our reps strict. This is calisthenics, not CrossFit. I do CrossFit. So again, that's the criteria. Those are the three rules. I gotta hit 300 dips as fast as I can. The goal is under five minutes. Let's see how fast I could get it. And of course, before we begin, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so we can spread the word of gains all over the world. Thank you so much. bold fighter. He's begun meditating. <laughs> Take a sensu bean now. Still got a couple on you? Uh, yeah. Thanks.
So there you have it, my friends, eight minutes and 20 seconds to complete 300 dips. Historical, unbelievable, amazing. Now that comes out to about 34 dips a minute for the whole eight minutes and 20 seconds. Honestly, I'm pretty disappointed with the time. I thought I was going to be in the mid sixes, about six and a half minutes or so. Obviously the video's challenge was to get it under five minutes. Not really sure if that's going to be possible anytime soon, but I do love doing challenges like this because it lets me set a benchmark of where I am and where I want to be. So my goal is to get this under six and a half minutes and I want to get that within the next two months. So I'll probably try this challenge every three or four weeks, start emphasizing a little bit more on endurance, maybe losing a little bit extra weight I might be carrying. But that's my time, eight minutes, 20 seconds. If you want to give this challenge a shot, go ahead, give it a shot, tag me in it. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe. Let me know any thoughts you have on this challenge or any future challenges in the comment section below, and I'll see you all next time.